I want to say welcome uh, and thank you all for coming. We have, uh, I'm going to do a brief introductions because you'll hear from some folks, but we do have um, obviously um, the mayor with us here today, so thank you. Um, we have some trustees who are here with us today uh, from the board of trustees here at the college. We have partners here uh, that you'll hear from one of our partners later, and we'll recognize those partners um, a little bit later. And um, we'll have this beautiful unveiling very shortly. So, um, okay. So my brief piece is just to say to say welcome. Thank you for being here this afternoon. And after the remarks and any questions that you might have, please uh, take a moment to walk down into the gallery at the end. If folks have been here in the building before, you will see that we have had some tremendous changes to the building, uh, some renovations since last spring. So I encourage you to see the new gallery and the woodworking um, exhibit from our faculty that is in there, as well as um, you know wander around if you want afterwards and, and see some of the other changes. So without any further ado, I will introduce President Dr. Carol Moore to uh, make some remarks. Well, again, let me uh, add my welcome to that of Cora Lee. We're very excited about this event at, uh, at the college. And just to give you uh, a, a little bit of background about community university, um, this is a relatively new concept in, in higher education. It got started actually in Georgia around 2006. Uh, and the essence is, uh, you know, kind of community and university partnership. So the, the idea is to have a, a location where one can bring together a lot of different organizations or partners so that there is a full range of uh, accessibility in very different educational formats, uh, different kinds of education, uh, different levels of education, so that the community can have access to uh, the broad array that education offers to the citizens in the community, uh, citizens that are, you know, as young as in high school, uh, maybe younger, but high school, uh, through the time that they're 100 and celebrating their 100th birthday. And we do have a student here who's 86, so um, that, that demonstrates the full range. So we're very uh, excited about this. We've partnered with a number of organizations to bring together uh, offerings that the college itself uh, is not able to offer or hasn't offered in the past. So this will then provide uh, opportunities for high school students to take advantage of dual enrollment where they get high school credits and college credits. They can actually start their careers, in, uh, their college careers in high school. Uh, it will bring together partners in a variety of fields such as education and um, technical fields like manufacturing and medical healthcare fields. Uh, it will bring together different formats of being able to be in class uh, in person on a campus here uh, or online. And one of our partners you'll hear from a, a, a little bit further along. And then one of our partners um, down the road here uh, for adults who are looking to get some education to be uh, to upgrade their employment and to have a career path. So that's the whole idea of the community. Uh, and we're pretty excited uh, to be offering that here at Burlington College. Uh, it's of note that there are probably only 15-ish communities across the country. Uh, many are in the South and in the Midwest, um, one out in California, one in New Jersey. Um, so it, it's across the country, but there's very few uh, of us, and we are now a member of that association. So without, um, without further ado, uh, let me just unveil our, our look. There we go. So, so as I uh, mentioned, uh, you see here our undergraduate programs that have existed for quite some time. Uh, our individualized master's degree, 
which is uh, customized for every individual who wants to join the program. Uh, and then things like dual enrollment and um, high tech, one of our partners that you'll hear from in a minute, um, apprenticeships in various fields through the high tech program and the partnership with Burlington College so that as they go through these technical programs, we have authorized um, credit for those programs. And um, one of our faculty members, Pierce, will talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, the New England Institute with uh, Teacher Education Partnership, the Community Kitchen Academy for uh, Hospitality, they, they offer a culinary program and that will partner with our uh, tourism program and, and help with uh, tourism in the state, which is a big part of our economy. Uh, Integral Psychology is a, one of our newest partners, um, and Oplerno, which will uh, help us deliver online. So we'll, we'll hear from uh, all of those folks um, in, in just a few minutes. And at this point, I'd like to introduce the mayor who is joining us in this, uh, this to support this venture because I think this is going to be uh, a great opportunity for many, many citizens uh, in the Burlington area. So, Mayor Weinberger. Thank you, President Moore. Um, uh, I am uh, I am excited to be here with you today and to to um, be with the trustees on uh, you know a day that's been a while coming. I think it's we've all long looked forward to a day when we can be talking about the exciting education uh, happening here. I think it's um, um, <clears throat> I, it this feels to me very much within the. Uh, spirit and the, the, the tradition here at Burlington College for uh, the college to be really asking uh, how do we serve educational needs that are not being served by other players uh, in the market? How do we, how do we really, cap, really do things that are un unique? Um, and um, I think in this case, it is not only just building on the, the, the tradition of Burlington College, it's also um, uh, what excites me most about it is that this is really going to create a new way for residents of this region, of this city, um, to uh, better themselves, to continue to, to self-improve, and to do that in, in non-traditional ways. Uh, I think when we're living at a time when getting ahead, when competing in this economy depends on, on higher education, adding to the flexibility and adding to the ways in which people can get that higher education uh, is something that's really going to be of great value for this community. So uh, I really just wanted to be here to say that I am excited that Burlington College will be Burlington's community university, and uh, we look forward to seeing how this unfolds and rolls out in the months and years ahead, and I think it represents an exciting opportunity uh, for the city of Burlington, for the region, and one that many individuals uh, in the area, many Vermonters are going to benefit from in the years ahead. And I really want to uh, compliment the trustees, President Moore, Dean Holm, uh, for thinking hard and long about uh, what, where the opportunities were, how to move education in this region forward, uh, how to move this institution forward, and uh, congratulations on, on getting today's announcement. I know it wasn't easy. I've been excited. But I've been hearing about it as it's come together the last couple months, and it's, uh, it's, ex it's exciting that you have brought it to fruition, and good luck in the, in the months ahead. Great. So, uh, so we're off and running, and uh, now we'd like to uh, ask uh, that you just hear a little bit about how we've made this possible inter internally for us to be able to give credits f for groups that are in the education field as well, uh, but not per se a college. So Pierce Kanunka is going to talk to you just very briefly. Uh, Pierce heads up our external assessment board and it's through his good efforts that we have been able to evaluate high tech programs and the New England Institute programs and and be able to offer them uh, credit so Pierce hi everybody I am Pierce Kanuka and I'm the chair of the Department of Integral Psychology <clears throat> and I'm really very very excited to be part of this um, I think it's uh, nothing short of visionary so what we do is when we identify a potential partner, we will get together, we will set up some meetings, and there's a small group of folks from Burlington College that are on the assessment team, which I lead up. And then we will also be meeting with the partner, 
and they will bring in a lot of materials that they use in their education. So, for instance, high tech literally had to bring in stuff on a uh, on a wheelbarrow. Um, it was so much stuff, and they have a very vigorous program that um, basically nine different uh, allied areas in high tech and medical. And so what we'll do is we'll bring in an expert in that area, an outside expert, and the assessment will involve the three parties. We'll meet together as, as a group, and then the, um, the partner will leave, and we will also we'll discuss any kind of deficiencies or strengths that we need to work on in order to further the partnership. We're, we're really concerned that we maintain academic rigor. Um, all the partners up here easily satisfy that, and we're very much looking forward to <clears throat> making more partnerships. So if, if anyone's interested, I recommend that uh, any potential partner that you identify yourself to Carol, myself, or Coralie. And we're really looking forward to, to doing this. Thank you very much. So we'd like to just uh, ask uh, the partners who are with us today to just uh, say a few words about the partnership, and I'd like to ask Lisa Dames to represent High Tech um, and tell us about that partnership a little bit. Hi, uh, my name is Lisa Dame. I'm Director of Grants, Marketing, and College Relations with Vermont High Tech. Uh, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and our mission is to recruit, educate, and apprentice unemployed and underemployed individuals. Uh, we work in the growing fields of healthcare, advanced manufacturing, uh, information technology, and business services. Um, the employers uh, that are listed here on this uh, unveiling are are close partners of ours that we work with often. Uh, we believe firmly in the benefits of experiential learning uh, and that there's much to be gained outside of a lecture hall. Uh, working with Burlington College under the Institute for American Apprenticeship allows adults to obtain uh, both training and college credit simultaneously. Our programs provide intense uh, accelerated training in an eight to 10 week time period after which students would earn a certificate uh, between 24 and 30 credits at that point in time. They are immediately employed full-time and registered into an apprenticeship uh, following that training. By six months into their apprenticeship, uh, they, are, they earn an additional 21 credits um, and, and a registered apprenticeship badge to mark this uh, experiential milestone based on their experience and deliverables. And only 15 core credits remain for students to earn an associate's degree. Burlington College and Vermont High Tech um, We've been working together since the spring, and we do embrace the need for the community. <clears throat> Our success hinges upon <clears throat> meeting the needs of both students and the employers, uh, which cannot happen without these key partnerships. Uh, we work very closely with the Vermont Department of Labor uh, to ensure training, education, and employment opportunities are accessible to those in our community <coughs> that need it the most. Our employer partners uh, thrive with this model. They receive not only new apprentices with uh, that are competent technically and behaviorally, but uh, they are loyal and have uh, continued love for learning. Um, the Institute for American Apprenticeships enhances our model by providing stackable credentials, uh, an affordable pathway to advanced education for employers that require it and students that want to further their own education. Thank you. So our uh, other partners that are here are um, Stephen York and Catherine Ring, and Stephen's going to say a few things about uh, that partnership with uh, the New England Institute. Um, education and the paradigm for change has been enormous, and I want to remind us all historically that John Dewey was from this place, and we're very committed to an education that is progressive imaginative, creative. There's enormous pressure on educators in our public school systems. I serve as a chair of a school board on an island off the coast of Maine. It is enormous, the changes that have happened, not just in higher ed, but in K-12 and pre-K. And so this partnership allows us to offer alternative ways for educators at all levels, superintendents of schools all the way down to paraprofessionals, to access in an alternative manner, graduate level, undergraduate level, 
and or professional development courses. This partnership, with which we are very proud, in which we are very proud, uh, is a support of the values we believe that need to happen in public education. Public education cannot be canned. Public education cannot be reduced to just standardized tests. Public education, as Dewey said, is about preparing people to be prepared for active participation in a democracy. And we affirm that, as does Burlington College. So we are proud of this community university. Um, we offer courses both online and on location. And we believe that this is the kind of partnership that will help make a huge difference in both being uh, offering quality education, quality professional development to educators who are under great stress and great periods of change, and also at an affordable cost and helping the budgets, which I know this city also is challenged in their school budgets as we are on an island in Maine. Thank you so very much. We're proud, proud to be part of this community. Thank you, Stephen. I would be remiss if I did not ask Zach to stand. Um, Zach is an alum of uh, 2014, uh, and Zach is uh, in the family heritage, shall we say. So, I, Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, great. So thanks for being with us. It's a good day. Uh, Rob, you want to say a few words about uh, El Palermo? Yeah. I'm Rob Skiff. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of Aplerno. Aplerno stands for Open Learning Organization, and we have a network of um, 175 faculty all over the world, um, all of which who have uh, master's degrees or above and are experts in their discipline. Um, we offer courses online and are really, really excited to be working with Burlington College to help um, increase the diversity of courses that can be accessed by the students and also to um, help uh, Burlington College in the recruitment of students from outside the United States to come to Vermont and Burlington and enjoy um, you know, what, uh, what this uh, great state and uh, Chittenden County have to offer. Um, Carol Moore and the team at Burlington College are embracing the future of higher ed. Um, this is an area that is undergoing rapid change. Many institutions in Vermont are um, are trying to uh, engage in a world um, that is uh, much different than what was uh, 20 years ago. Um, and uh, Aplerno is really excited to be working with a forward-thinking institution and an innovative leadership and the faculty um, to create an education that fits the 21st century. Um, so we're really, really excited and, uh, and appreciate the opportunity to work with this community on it. Um, and last, but by no means least, uh, Howard Fisher, who's been very involved in the community kitchen and uh, is now a partner with us. A very recent partner. Right. Yeah. Um, coming out of a tradition many, many years ago, uh, Ivan Illich, who no one will remember, uh, but the community is the school. And um, I firmly believe in that, having had a hand 40 years ago starting the open high school in Richmond, Virginia. I fell in love as I was on the brink of retiring from NECI with the Community Kitchen Academy. It's a program of the Vermont Food Bank, and it, it offers its programs through the Chittenden Emergency Food Shelf and through Capstone in um, Barrie and hopefully soon as well in Rutland, a campus in Rutland. Uh, taking the un and underemployed, um, teaching them a skill, knowledge, getting them a job, um, and the model is beautiful. I love it. Um, it's been a joy working with the program. Um, went through two or three college presidents here at Burlington College to get to you, Carol. Um, <laughs> but very successfully so. Took Carol about two seconds to realize that we were a potential, that there was a partnership there. And it's a joy for us. Um, I think there's an articulation agreement um, between the programs and we'll be working with Ryan in admissions to have some uh, uh, Community Kitchen Academy students coming to Burlington College, hopefully. They, um, 
Some matriculate at uh, CCV and NECI that we also have articulation agreements with. Um, primarily, it's to get people jobs, but as we know, uh, you can do both. You can continue your formal education and work as well, and that's our goal. Um, we'll look for other ways to work together. I think the, hospi uh, the um, event management culinary elective in the winter may start to be instructed at the kitchen at the food shelf. There's a commercial kitchen over there uh, that beats what might be available here. So we'll look for additional ways to work together, but right now it's a pleasure, it's a joy, and echo your words that it's, I'm so happy it's happening finally with Burlington College and Burlington. Thank you. Okay, well, that, uh, that takes us through our current partnerships, um, but we're always looking for new partners and new ideas to bring to the community in, in which we live and want to serve and to expand our offerings so that we can uh, reach out to community members and really offer them the kinds of things that they need uh, in order to fulfill um, a, a good citizen life uh, in our communities and the surrounding areas. So thank you all for joining us. Please feel free to stay and mix and mingle a little bit. Um, don't forget the do donuts and the cider. And um, again, thank you all for for coming today and joining with us to celebrate uh, the community at Burlington College. Thank you so much, and thank you, Mr. Mayor.